All right, so here we have a question that states, how many ventricular depolarization complexes are seen in the following lead? Okay, so ventricular depolarization complexes, those are the ones we have to identify. And here we have lead V1, one of our right precordial leads. Okay, so you have to know what these complexes are. So whenever we're talking about ventricular depolarization, we are talking about our QRS complexes, okay? So the QRS complexes are ventricular depolarization, okay? Remember when we talk about ventricular repolarization, this is our T wave. Now when we talk about more atrial depolarization, this is the P wave, okay? And then you may hear atrial repolarization, which we often don't see on the ECG. Some refer that to the TA wave, the T representing a repolarization wave in the A uh, from the atria. So they call that the TA wave, okay? So often we won't see that, it'll be buried within our QRS complex, okay? So let's look at this question. So it can either be zero to three, meaning there's no complexes or up to three, four to six, seven to nine, or 10 to 12, okay? So we have to identify the QRS complexes and what we have here are these sticking out here. So these are the ones, so we can count these, okay? So here's one, two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a total of ten, which puts us right here, okay? So the answer here is D, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. Now just a few other things. These are the P waves. You can see some of these biphasic P waves, okay, present here. So there's that one-to-one -one ratio there, okay? All right, and remember biphasic P waves, the short axis view of the heart, we can see those normal biphasic P waves in those leads, all right? So ventricular depolarizations, remember QRS complexes are the ones we are going after, so make sure to keep that in mind, all right? You may also note that this is a regular rhythm, meaning that these intervals between them, so from one S wave to the next S wave, are all the same, so we call this a regular rhythm, okay? And knowing that this is a uh, standard 12 lead ECG, this is a rhythm strip, we know from beginning to end is 10 seconds, 10 seconds times six is 60 seconds, so an approximate rate would be counting those QRS complexes, okay, which we got 10, multiplying it by six, we get a rate of about 60 beats per minute, okay? And then you can also do the one where you take this QRS complex falling on that thick line and the next one, and you have one, two, three, four, five. So 300 divided by five is 60 beats per minute. Now, if you didn't get that, don't worry. We did mention some rate in uh, some other lectures. So the main thing I want you to get out of here is that ventricular depolarization are the QRS complexes, okay? And know how to identify them on the ECG. Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We are the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.